Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your general love reading. I, if if it doesn't resonate with you, and it's not going to resonate with everybody because it is general, but if it doesn't, uh, be sure to check your moon and rising signs. Even if it does resonate, that's not a bad idea. It gives you just a, a bigger, more well-rounded picture of, of what's going on in the reading. You can also check out your person's sun, moon, and rising signs. That helps too. Okay, getting started. Your first card, Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, nice. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Two of the fastest moving knights in the deck. Wow, you've got some chaotic energy going on around you, Cancer. The Emperor. Judgment. Okay, so this is the center of your spread and part of your overall energy now as well. Four of Swords. Page of Cups. Nice. Ooh, Nine of Swords. That's okay. That's your energy. You can change that. And the Four of Cups. Again, this is you. It's not someone from the outside. So, wow. Um, You have two major arcanas in this, one of which is part of your overall energy. Now, the other part of your overall energy is bottom of the deck, Three of Cups. That's awesome. Okay, so Three of Cups is all about celebration. It's friends and family coming together to celebrate those things that we generally do celebrate with our friends and our family, such as engagement, weddings or marriages, um, the birth of a baby. It's, it's anything that is emotional fulfillment and we celebrate those things, okay? Combined with the judgment card. Now the judgment card is all about that which you believed to be dead coming back to life. Okay, so something from your past that you thought was over, it was dead and gone, you were never going to revisit this situation or this person again, guess what? They're rising from the dead. Okay, so let me just take a quick look at your cards now and get a feel for any messages coming through for you. Okay, Cancer. Um, just to let you know, this is where you are-ish, time-wise, when you see this spread. This is where you're headed, or where you don't want to be, or where you do want to be. It's usually one of those three. And again, the center of the spread, bottom of the deck, is all about overall energy. The remaining cards are situations and experiences between the now and where you're headed, okay? So, the Eight of Pentacles is working hard to attain whatever it is that you want to attain. So, you have been and are working towards something. Now, it's also known as the Apprenticeship card. So, generally, it's about working on uh, possibly moving in a new direction, trying something new. Okay, because maybe things weren't working the way you were going before. I just need to let my dog out. Hang on two seconds. No, you don't want that. Okay, she does not want out. Um, anyways, working on something new or moving in a new direction possibly is what it represents. You have some very very fast, possibly brutal energy 
coming into your environment, your surroundings. Okay, it's the Knight of Wands is it's fast moving energy, but it's the kind of energy that's in and out. This is player mode. It's someone that's there one minute and gone the next. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving energy. And usually the Knight of Swords is the energy of someone who's impulsively moving forward out of desperation. They're in a place that they don't want to be. It's scaring them. They have anxiety over it. And they just need to fix whatever it is that needs to be fixed in their mind, okay? There's not a lot of thought behind their actions. And so sometimes it comes across as being very aggressive or brutal energy. Now the emperor is... <laughs> what I heard when I looked at the emperor card, and it's exactly how he looks. I've got this. That's what I heard. I've got this. <laughs> because look at this guy. He does look like he's got this. It's under control. <laughs> so, for some of you, this is someone coming into your world. Or it's it's a feeling, you know, and you've got this when they come in. Or it's you feeling um, very unsteady, unbalanced, and feeling like you need to really, you know, get moving quick. But regardless, somebody's got this. Somebody's in control. Somebody's somebody's able to deal with this. The Four of Swords in this deck, if you take a look at it, there are four swords there, but there's one underneath him and three at the foot of the bed. So the three at the end of the bed for me, represent heartache, heart, possible heartbreak, um, pain, and and needing to heal and rest and recuperate from something. Possibly this <laughs> this impulsive, aggressive energy here. If that came at you. Yeah, you need to recharge your batteries for sure. And that could be the energy of whatever this is that you believe to be dead and gone in the past, coming back to life. It could be that it came back like this, right? Very brutal energy, very fast, very in-your-face, aggressive type energy. Someone wanted you to know how they felt. I feel like um, it might have been, you know, whoever this is that wanted you to know how they felt. It feels to me like there is love there, but something happened maybe in the past that set them off. And it almost feels like the kind of energy where the person loves you, but they're going to tell you off first. Look at this is what you did to me. This is how you hurt me. What you did did this. And that in turn sends you into this nine of swords, this mental, mentally con conflicted. And then you're left with the what the hell just happened way of looking at things. If you notice in this deck, there's three empty cups at his feet. So he's drank from every one of those cups. He drank it all. It's gone. And he does, he is aware that the universe is gifting him with another cup, a different cup, one more for him to try because those three weren't what he expected. They weren't what he wanted, right? So the universe is offering yet another cup. And that would be whatever this was from the past that was dead and buried. It came back and it's, it's, it, this whole, the whole message here for me 
feels like it revolves and and obviously it does because this is the center of your spread and it's also the overall energy but everything revolves around this coming back to life how it came back to life what it did to you what was said and where you're at where it leaves you funny thing is the overall energy is this coming back to life and you celebrating it it could be that some of you aren't actually celebrating this but it's a marriage you did celebrate it at one time because it was a marriage and you thought it was over and ooh, here it comes again Now the Four of Swords is also, it's, it's a card of healing, right? Taking a step back, knowing you need to take a step back and get your bearings. And that's very strong here. So I'm going to clarify a couple of things here because it doesn't flow totally for me. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the overall energy being judgment and three of cups. So some of you either whatever this is, it's it's really good news for you and you're happy and you're celebrating that it's coming back to life. Others of you, it's something that you did celebrate and you thought it was over, but it's coming back. I want to clarify the judgment card, angels. Why is the judgment card here? I don't take four cards, three at most. of Pentacles and the other card is the Page of Wands. So the Five of Pentacles, this is my card of rejection. So you were rejected, somebody was rejected. Page of Wands is, again, pages are messengers, so this is a message or news coming in, information coming in. And the Page of Wands, it's good news. Generally speaking, it's good news. So that goes with the Three of Cups. Whatever this is coming back around, you're happy about it, but whatever it was, it was rejection to begin with, but it is coming back around. So this, for me, it feels like a past relationship. It, could be that it, it's a marriage that you know you split up and the good news is that this person maybe wants to come back into your life um knight of swords let's clarify the knight of swords why is the knight of swords here angels Ooh. well yeah <laughs> that's how it feels when the Knight of Swords comes into your world. It's a shocker. It's unexpected. Could turn your world upside down. For some of you, this is the ending of that relationship. In the past, it ended and it turned your world literally upside down. You felt very dissed, rejected, tossed aside. That's what I'm hearing. Just tossed out like the trash. Wow. Or some of you, this is somebody you rejected. 
and it's coming back around. And after healing, you realize your feelings for this person. I want one more card on the Knight of Swords, please. Why is the Knight of Swords here? swords here. Whoa. Okay, that's what you want to come out. Oh, there's four cards. You might want to fast forward this. Knight of Swords, Angels. Magician and the Six of Swords. So this is crazy. We have the Tower, the Magician, and the Six of Swords. So what I'm hearing with this is that's why you're celebrating this Knight of Swords, this very fast forward moving energy. It's what you wanted. It surprised you. And for some of you, it even shocked you, but it's what you manifested because you wanted to move forward with this person. Okay. That's why you're celebrating this coming back to life because you worked on it. You worked on it. You wanted it to go in a different direction. It ended. Let's clarify the eight of coins. This ended and you wanted it to come back around. So you were working on moving in a new direction with it and you manifested this good on you for those of you that did manifest it i'm proud way to go that's awesome yes you did because on the eight of pentacles we have the nine of cups we have the ten of cups <laughs> And we have justice. For me, this is a marriage. This is either someone you want to marry or someone you are married to and you thought it was over and you didn't want it to be over. So, you decided to work on this and take it in a new direction because this is your wish fulfillment. This person, whoever this is, is your wish. It's your dream person. You know they can give you the happy home life, the happy ever after that you're looking for. And either you want to marry them. So some of you are married to this person and it's coming back around. Some of you wanted to marry this person. And so you, it, it it kind of was back and forth, in and out, went south, whatever happened here. And you took it upon yourself to manifest this, and you did. And it's coming back around, because you've got this. <laughs> Keep hearing that. I've got this. 
That's so cute. <laughs> okay, so you were rejected, but you weren't going to let that get you down. You wanted this too bad to let it get you down. So why are you in your head down here? What's with the Nine of Swords? And the disappointment at the ending, you're, where you're headed. Why are you headed there? So Nine of Swords, why is the Nine of Swords here? Again, this is another fulfillment card. Why is that showing up on the Nine of Swords? Okay. So you want this to come back to life. It hasn't necessarily come back yet. There were a lot of uh, a lot of words spoken, a lot of things said, things done in haste. And it literally turns your world upside down. So you have been trying to manifest this back into existence. You've been moving forward with trying to get this to come back around. And you're exhausted. You're tired. You're needing to heal. Somebody is trying to bring this back around because it is, it is their dream person. You are their dream person or they are yours. Um, I feel like, too, there's another group of you here. Same scenario. You've, you're crazy about this person. You want to marry them. You want something committed with them. But you haven't told them how you feel yet. Or you're needing to get out of a marriage to be with someone that is your wish person, your dream person. Wow, what is it with the messages today? They are just so, so different. Another card on the Nine of Swords, please. Nine of Pentacles can be about independence, too, so this would be you fearing being alone. So if there is someone out there that is your dream person and you're in a marriage that you're going to have to leave in order to be with that person, you're afraid to walk away from the marriage just in case this other thing doesn't work out because you're not sure you want to be alone. Nine of Swords, another card, please. Another reason, too, is uh, finances. You may be a little concerned about leaving your partner and because of finances. So, the Hanged Man. You have placed yourself in limbo voluntarily. You are trying to see things from all angles. Wow, this is one messed up 
energy here. Seriously, it's going in every direction. Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Angels. Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Star card. Queen of Swords is um, no holds barred and no games played. She cuts through the crap to get to the down and dirty. The you know she wants to know what the hell's going on. The Hierophant is all about tradition. It's all about, it represents marriage again. Um, in this deck though, if you notice, the kids down in front of the Hierophant, they look like twins. They are twins. They're identical, but they're mirroring each other. So it feels to me like this situation involves a twin. Now. The Four of Cups is disappointment for sure. But in this deck, you're being handed another opportunity. And that's the same as the Judgment card. Something's coming back around for you. It came around once before and you either missed the opportunity, you didn't take it, or you walked away from it. But it's coming back around for you. You know, you've got two cards telling you this is coming back around. This is a gift from the universe, and it's coming back around. So, and it is wish fulfillment. You have the wish fulfillment card twice. Now, the star card can also represent hope as well as healing, as can the four of swords. This feels... For me, the energy on this spread feels so mixed up. I don't know what's going on here. There is wish fulfillment big time in something that has already been offered to you in the past. And it either wasn't accepted or it was just rejected or, you know, you took it but then walked away from it or somebody did. And... Now it's coming back around. Now the Queen of Swords could be your person. That would be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Whew. Okay. Um... Clarify the Page of Cups. I keep being drawn to that card. Why is the Page of Cups here? Well, 
That's going to be too many cards, I can tell by the sound. Okay, why is the Page of Cups here? Okay, another one you're going to want to fast forward past. We're looking for the perfect card here. Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Too many cards again. Okay. We have the Fool. So brand new path, brand new direction, new journey, leap of faith, something unexpected falling into your lap. And that's the same message I got with the tower. This is something that was unexpected. Okay, and you have the King of Wands. This is a lot of passion, a lot of drive, knowing what you want and going after it. And then we have the Knight of Wands, which is, again, up top. It's very fast, forward-moving energy, but it's also player-type energy. This is, you know, it's also twins, because it's that in-and-out, back-and-forth, runner-chaser thing. You know, that would make a whole lot of sense in this situation. If you came together with your twin and it just was so fiery that it instantly ended because it was just too intense. Way too intense. It was what you wanted. You wanted to move forward with it but it just blew up, literally blew up your world. And I hear somebody saying, I got this, but it's possible that the other person didn't have it. Maybe it was too much, too fast for the other person. And it, it got turned away, rejected. but then come back around after someone was done recharging, healing, taking a step back to look at things. And then once they do that, once they're healed, they're ready to get on path, they know exactly what they want, they're going after it, and they're going to come in and tell you how they feel. But until they do, you're kind of left hanging. You know, it's possible that it's you that rejected this because it moved too fast. And they're coming back in. And that's what's going to send you up into your head again because it is just so intense. And it means the ending to your independence because you know with the, the feelings that are here, the intensity of all of this, that when you do finally come together with this person, you're looking at probably, you know, lifelong, it's going to be a marriage happening here. 
because it's wish fulfillment. And maybe you're just, you know, you just need a, a moment to decide if you're ready for this. Letting go of your independence and moving into this committed relationship. Oh. Okay, bottom of the clarifier deck and part of the overall energy two now is the death card. There is definitely transformation going on here, transitioning. It shows up here. Judgment card. Hanged man. Okay, well, uh, the energy here is all over the place. If this is what you want, you want this to come back, you want it to be a committed relationship, you want it to turn out better than it, than it is headed for, because this is where you're headed, disappointment. And you're not going to reach this place from all of this that's going on in your spread. So, if you, and we do need that one. Okay. So we have where you are. This is where you're headed. And this is your energy. Okay, so I'll get a new deck. I'm going to start down here with your energy. I want to know what you need to think, feel, be, or do to have the energy that you need that's required for this outcome that you want, this twin flame partnership. Getting yourself turned around to you know, being ready for it and being in the right proximity energetically for it. Okay, angels, what does cancer need to do, be, feel, think, or <laughs> become to be in the right proximity energetically to have this twin flame relationship? take place. Or at the very least, a very special soulmate relationship. My twin flame card did not come out in this reading, but you have a lot of cards that kind of speak to a twin flame relationship. So like I said, at the very least, it's a special connection soulmate wise two more cards down here please minimum one more card so the queen of pentacles just dropped out this could be your person this would be a taurus virgo or capricorn could just be an energy that you need to Take on. Wow, you've got quite the message here. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Look at 
is Three of Cups again. So, it's all about celebration. It's all about being happy. Being happy in the moment. Being happy with what you have and where you're at now. That's um, energetically, when we're happy, we put out a very specific vibration into the universe. And what you put out, you get back. You know that saying? What you put out, you get back. So if you're putting out a vibration of being very happy, the universe is going to bring things to you that make you happy. So there's a start. Try to be positive. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, like I said, this could be your person. It could be you. What has she got there? I can't tell what it is. It's like a crystal ball with an image in it. Um... She's got a knowing, though. Do you see the light above her head? She's enlightened. She knows. She has faith. She's trusting. She's grounded. She's balanced. And she just knows. That's where you need to be. Be happy in the knowing and the having faith and the believing that this is going to be. It's meant to be. And then you have the moon. I'd like to let you see what the artwork is in these cards. These cards are phenomenal. This is Shadowscape. Because the little fairies down in the bottom of the card, one laying down like she's taking a break. They're so cute. Little fairies dancing around at this girl's feet. See, she's holding a mask. It's the uncertainty. She's got she's got her heart in her left hand and a mask in her right hand. So this is someone not being completely honest about their feelings. And that's why there's uncertainty. So if that's you, Cancer, you need to, you know, that's why the Page of Cups was here. It's about being honest and letting someone know how you feel. If it's your person, then um, this is letting you know that they're, they're not being fully honest with how they feel. And that's how you can trust and have faith because they just aren't being open and honest with you about it. And we have the tower again. Don't fear. Come on. This is just a blaze. But do you see the rest of this picture? There's little flames here and there. But at the very base, everything's fine. In fact, the base, nobody knows what's going on up above because they can't even see it. So don't fear the changes. You know, that was a big message that came to me this morning in my life. Accept the changes in your life without fear or doubt. Because what looks like an ending is the, be is the beginning of something you really want. Okay? I knew there was a reason that message came to me this morning. I needed to use it in the reading I did just before yours, too. And the last card you got here. Page of Wands, the second time you've had this. So if you have a card more than once in your spread, it's very pertinent. This is all about messages coming through, and it's generally good news. So you don't have to worry, right? Live your life. Do what she's doing. She's, you know, she's happy. She's just kind of spending her day in the forest with their little friends and she's doing her thing and 
She does not look the least bit worried about what's going on with someone else that she wants in her life. Live your life. The message is coming in and it, sorry guys, and it is going to be, it is going to be good. Okay? So, allow the transformations. This is part of your overall energy now too, this the death card, which is, it's transitioning. You're transitioning, and the tower says that for sure. You had that in the first part of your, your reading. You have it as a clarifier here. Well, not a clarifier. Part of what you need to do to move into this relationship that you want. And part of it is allow the changes. Accept the changes. Allow them. Don't fear them. Don't doubt yourself. Have that knowing. Be happy and positive in order to bring that back to you, okay? And accept the changes because they're not endings. These changes are actually new beginnings. Beginnings of what you really want. So up above, where you're at, where you're headed. You're headed for disappointment. So where you're at, you want this wish fulfillment because you know that, that this person can be your happily ever after and you either want to stay married to them or you want to marry them, okay? But you are heading for disappointment. So the way you're thinking, the way you're feeling, this tells me that it's the way you're thinking and feeling. Turn that around and you won't head for disappointment. So this is just added guidance for you from source, okay? What does Cancer need to know? I want three cards up here too, please. Does cancer need to know? Oh. Okay. Oh, four cards. I can't accept four cards. I'm sorry, guys. I'll only take three. I don't want just a lump of cards. I want to make sure that it is a definite message for you. And four cards to me is just kind of a bunch of cards coming out. Cancer need to know. is the energy oracle by the way this deck is shadowscape I think I might have told you that and the main deck from the main spread is tarot of dreams and the little cards are the essential tarot should have said that in the beginning I guess I keep forgetting to to um, let everybody know what cards I'm using First card out, we have anxiety. Um, there's no explanation necessary here. This kind of goes with the Nine of Swords. This is anxiety. This is sleepless nights. It's 
thinking of nothing else but from a negative standpoint. It's okay if you think about something almost nonstop, as long as it's from a positive standpoint, because that's going to attract it to you. But if you're constantly thinking about something from a place of anxiety or negativity, then you are going to push it away from you. You're going to stop it from, from coming in. Rest and rejuvenation. This is like the Four of Swords. Take a break. Meditate. Take long, hot baths. Go for long walks in nature. Just get yourself back to centered and being balanced, okay? That'll help you. And man holding a coin. I'm going to have to read this from the book for you because I'm not positive on that one. So, that is number 43. It says, male connection in money, health, or value. This card here, let me show, show it to you guys while I read it, give you something to look at. Might be too high. There, perfect. Okay, so it says, this card shows a man sitting in a lushly flowering field holding a large, bright coin. For men, this could indicate an aspect of yourself and a readiness to further your goals and receive increased health, money, or value in your life. Greater success is on its way when you take control of your own finances and act. This card upright could also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or healer whom you already know or are soon to meet. This man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take next. Be open to this person showing up with support, but always turn to your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you receive. This could also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. Um, for those of you that it doesn't make sense for one reason or another, um, what it comes down to for me is this is going to be someone that comes in and is detrimental in helping you get from point A to point B. They're either going to help you be happier or more positive or somehow they're going to help bring the two of you together. Okay? Try to be appreciative and grateful for what you have in the now. And like I said, accept the change or changes that are happening now because although they may look like endings, don't allow it to, to cause fear or doubt in you because sometimes an ending is nothing more than another shot at the same thing just from a different angle, okay? Maybe you and or your partner needed to see things. I mean, you had you had the, um, where was he? Um, no, it was in here somewhere. You had the um, hanging man, right? So this is all about seeing things from a different perspective. And that could be why the tower came in and the death card, because this is all about transitioning, seeing things from a different angle, from maybe somebody else's point of view. And that could be you, it could be your partner needing to do that. It could be both of you. Um, well, I hope this helped. I wish you all the best, and I love you guys. I'll see you next time.